Welcome to the experience, the MIAC SWAC Challenge experience. Seven years strong, the MIAC SWAC Challenge presented by Disney is more than a game, more than a weekend to experience the wonder of Disney World, more than an opportunity to showcase skills on national television. Starting in 2005 in Birmingham, Alabama, the MIAC SWAC Challenge was founded on the premise that historically black colleges and universities deserve an opportunity to have their moment on this platform. The experience is much more than football. The experience is family. The experience is legacy. And the experience is about an opportunity that our predecessors rarely got. The experience is about other things too. Look around. The experience is about you. The experience is about music, dance, and creativity. Of course, you can't have the experience without football and everything that comes with football. Drive stopping hits. Big hit right there with the line of scrimmage. Jukes like this. Did you see the one move he's gonna make right here? Spectacular catches. Touchdown. Jubilation, wins, and losses. This is what makes the MEAC SWAC Challenge a once in a lifetime experience for some and a realized dream for others. 2011 is unique and special for many reasons. First of all, the participants have no history together. Prairie View A&M and Bethune-Cookman have never met on the gridiron. And when they converge on the hallowed ground of Florida's Citrus Bowl Stadium in Orlando, this won't be a grudge match or a revenge game, oh no. But ask both teams if winning matters and you'll find out with the quickness that this isn't just another game on their schedule. The Bethune-Cookman Wildcats finished 2010 at 10-2 and earned the right to play in the NCAA FCS playoffs. Prairie View A&M finished the year with a 7-4 record. Their coaches, Heishma Northern at Prairie View A&M and Bethune-Cookman's Brian Jenkins, realize that this Labor Day weekend matchup is more than just a win or loss on their resumes. It's an opportunity for them, too, to grow, to showcase their programs, and to represent for other coaches who never got this chance. Come September 4th at high noon, this seventh annual HBCU game will take center stage. It will be the only thing that matters to the players, the coaches, and the families who travel from afar to witness the experience in living color. Thank <laughs> you.